hi guys how's it going on in today's video i'm going to tell you how you can use firebase authentication in your monstack application so before starting this video i want you to like already know how to connect authentic firebase authentication in your react.js application so it is a must and i'm also assuming that you know basics of monstack like creating basic post methods to actually store data into your mongodb database and all i want you to know that already so it's important right and is it okay to use firebase authentication in your monstack application you can take a pretty good look on this i will share the link to this chat in the description you can just take a look but it's absolutely okay chat gpt says it and i have confirmed it from many different sources as well that's why i did it so i will share the link to this chat in the description right below so you can check it out all right and i have built this e-commerce application which is a monstack application absolutely i can search for products and all that let's just not go into this application i have set up authentication here if i log out this user and we have options like email address password login login with google and all if i click on register you can see we can add a profile picture name email address and password right register with google as well these functionalities are absolutely fine i have covered all this in the in this video i have shown you so i'm not going to do that again so let's just get started with the coding part right away so if you go into my vs code this is my complete code like it's already shared in my github you can check it out so within the server i've created a model called user.js i'm not going to show you like how to code it all i'm just explaining you like how you can connect firebase authentication with your monstack application right so i have created a user schema which is having a name which is having an email which is having a uid now this uid firebase will give us this uid we are not creating any uid firebase will give us it okay and i am having a display picture if there is no display picture i'm just sim simply adding this image as a display picture that is it and i have just exported it now within my route i'm going to use a post method so this is the post method as in you adding user details to mongodb yeah that is what i'm going to do i will be posting some data to slash register and it will add that particular data into my mongodb okay you can see we are creating a new user and just registering this user that is all it is pretty simple if you are like good with mern stack and that is fine now this far this part is done now that is all we need to do in the server now within the front end we already know how to set up firebase authentication right so same thing we have done here that is firebase.js and i just done everything from the previous video here okay so what is happening here is whenever we are going to sign in with google we have a different function here previously in the previous that video which i have shown you what were we doing we were adding the user to the fire store database but this time i'm adding the user to the mongodb database so here i have a function like register user to mongo i am fetching to the same slash register post we are posting this data name email uid display picture we are passing to this function as parameters and sending that data within the body to this particular route that is clear i guess and then when i sign in with google what i'm going to do when the user is created like sign in with pop up i'm just add the google auth provider and register the user and google gives me some data for that user we are just sending that display name the email the uid and the photo url to our mongodb database that is it the same thing we need to do in the register with email password as well okay so we're having a user but here i have just changed a small thing because we also need to add the profile picture you can just i have given like if the display picture is there give the display picture else give this image that is it and register user to mongo with name email uid and profile pic that is all we don't need to add this register user to mongo in any other place we just need that when we register like when we log in the user we don't need that we will have a uid and we will directly fetch that user details with that uid let me show you like how to fetch it if i go into the server the route.js i would have here like here if i need details of a particular user i'm just simply saying give me the user give me its uid and i will give you his data i'm giving his display picture and i'm giving his name like what is his name that is it that is fine 
right this way you can get the data of your like I am finding that document using his UID it's as simple as that guys now is there anything else no guys that is it that is it now within the source if I show you the app.js this is my app and everything fine if I show you the dashboard page within the pages if I show you the dashboard page this kind of similar now if I show you the dashboard page here if I click on this this is my dashboard page no I have to log in so let me just log in with one of my emails if you are wondering like I'm already logged in here no it's not if I refresh you won't see any user here you can see guest right but if I add minato at the rate gmail.com and add his password click on login now you can see minato here and his display page if I refresh now you will see minato again right and this product is being added by minato so it's here right now so this is it within the slash dashboard i'm showing his products here right that's what happening like i'm using the react firebase hooks getting the user and here if i want this particular user's products i'm just simply passing his uid his uid i'm passing in the uid in the parameters and passing in that here but where is this uid i'm going to go like where have i called this get products we go here if user exists call this get products and pass in the user which we have taken from here this user's uid and that is it you can call your responses here and get the data as you want if you want if i want if you want me to show this like where from where this functionality is coming in i can show you that as well go to the components navbar and you can see here get profile picture and name i'm fetching slash user slash uid the thing i have shown you i'm getting his name i'm getting his display picture that is it guys now that's how you set up like this is not a complete tutorial because if i do a tutorial the video will be so long so that's why i didn't do it i just explained you like how you can actually do it so that is it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it and learned something new like how to connect firebase authentication into your monster application so feel free to have all your queries right in the comment box i will reply to them as soon as possible so that is it for this video i'll meet you again with another awesome video just like this one until then bye bye